Hi, hello, this is Aresia, and welcome to part two of learning how to navigate our Fire Gilded server. So exciting. All right, so this is, again, part two. Part one was showing you how to get your tags and to set up your profile, make it all shiny. So now that you're all set, prepped, and ready, I'm going to show you a general overview of our gilded server. It's gonna go a little in depth, so I probably shouldn't call it general. I feel like that's a little bit of a lie, but <laughs> I'm gonna to try to condense it. If you need more information, again, always, 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 remember you can reach out to me. I am here to answer your questions to the best of my abilities. All right, so to kick this off, we are under the overview section. I have said this before and I will say it again. I love the overview of gilded. I love that as soon as I come in, I can click here and I can get a general idea of what has been going on since I last looked at our Gilded server. This is the pulse of our Gilded server. All right, so this is the pulse of our community on here. This is going to have um, all your upcoming events, latest announcements, and recent forum activity, but these are only going to have the events, announcements, and forum activity from the groups that you have decided to join. So as you can see, there's nothing on here remotely associated to Star Citizen. And that's because on my testing account, I haven't selected Star Citizen as something that I'm interested in. Therefore, I don't have to see it. Not only do I not have to see it, but it's not like I have to go over and mute that part of the server. I don't have to do that. I don't have to hit ignore, mute, whatever it is. It's just not there because I'm, I'm not part of that group. And again, this is something that you are in control of and that you are able to change at any moment. At any time during this, you could be like, you know what, I'm a little bit curious as to what's going on in Star Citizen and you could tag up for Star Citizen and poke around, peek around and be like, all right, I am interested in joining Star Citizen. Or you could be like, nah, I was right. It's really just not my cup of tea. And you can remove the tag and you're back to just having whatever it is that you want to be involved in. So that power rests squarely in the palm of your hand. That is not something that you will have to approach any of the officers for and be like, hey, can you give me this tag? Hey, can you take this tag off? You know, so that is for, for you. All right, so on here, upcoming events. I am, again, on Aresia testing. So I, this is just member view. You don't have to see everything that I see as an officer. And here I have upcoming events. Oh, there's a prayer meeting. And I can tell that these are core events, Guild Wars 2 events, or New World events, because they have the icon associated with them. All right, so right here, this is core community event because that's the core community icon. This is Guild Wars 2 because it's, well, the Guild Wars 2 logo. New world, new world. You see in the, you see in the trend here? So that's going to follow through on, on everything here. All right. So I can see that and I can be like, oh yeah, you know what? I am interested in going to the prayer meeting. I can click this. That automatically tags me as going. And then 15 minutes before that event starts, I'll get a little pop-up on the lower right-hand corner of my screen being like, hey, the Gilded event that you signed up for starts in 15 minutes. And you can click that. It takes you right to the event on the calendar and you're able to read it and see who all else is going and just be generally prepared, uh, which is very, very nice. All right, so upcoming events, it just kind of scrolls over to the side. I want to say that this gives about a month's worth of information, but I'm not entirely sure what the preset is on this, but it does give you quite a lot to see and to hop around between, and it gives you like the general information so you can get like a, a, a snapshot of what's going on which is great. Latest announcements. So I can see that there is an announcement over in Midnight of Flame, which is our new world community. We have self-assignable roles update. That's part of the core. And again, you're able to just click on it and it automatically takes you to it. So you don't have to be like, okay, where was that posted? And then try to find it. You just click and it takes you. Back to the overview. This is recent forum activity. Keyword is forum. So anything that is this hashtag thread, it's not going to be tracked in here. This is tracking threads, like actual forum threads that are staying on topic. Okay, so again, you can click on this and it takes you directly to it, but I'm going to save that for 
that part of the breakdown of the video, okay? Perfect. Moving on down, we have the members list. We briefly went over this when I was showing you how to tag yourself. Again, same thing, you can come in here, tag yourself. You can see who's online, like last online, really nice. But so you, you do have filters, you do have the ability to select all um, and then sort by, by name. So you can also search your members. So there is, there is a, ooh. Oh, oh, look at that. That's so nice because that's really nice. I like that. That's cool. Okay. Anyways, I'm geeking out right now. So, um, all right. So then up here we have the voice channels. You can recognize those because they have the little speaker icon with the, the, the sound waves coming out of them. Friendly fire. As you can see, we click here and that didn't throw us into voice communications like it would on Discord. Instead, it has opened up this screen here where people can have text-based communications and they can join the voice rooms here. Now, take a close look. I want you guys to go back in time to the years ago when Fire was on TeamSpeak because this is basically TeamSpeak. All right, so here you have a voice lobby. Again, you can join the voice lobby by clicking on it. Hot dog, look at that, I've joined the voice lobby. And what that does is uh, I'm lighting up, I'm talking to people, if people decide to join, that's great. And you're able to divide up the room. So it's it's tiered, as you can see. So there's game lobby, which is just all the lobbies, and then a breakup so that people can kind of split off and have those communications that they need without people talking over each other. Because I get like sometimes we want to visit and sometimes we want to focus. And you should have that option to hop around. All right, going into this channel opened this feature right down here in the lower left hand corner. Here you're able to end your call, deafen and mute. Again, you can do that up here. You can't end the call, but you can mute and deafen right there. Clicking this will expand it. So when multiple people start joining this channel, you'd be able to see them down here. And you're like, well, Aricia, why do I need to know down there and up here? Ho, 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 ho. Ho, ho, ho. Let me show you. So say that I'm in this voice channel and we're chit chatting and I decide that I want to hop over to the forge and I want to start a debate with somebody or I'm checking in on debates. And uh, so I'm over here typing and I'm really getting into it and somebody joins the voice channel. Well, I can check right down here and be like, oh, hey, so and so. It's good to hear you again. And we can start talking. And if the list gets too long because it'll keep stacking up, I can collapse it and just keep typing and keep typing. Say that whoever joins the channel starts sharing stuff in the text channel over there. They're like, hey, Arisi, come check this out, LOL. I'll be like, oh, okay. Instead of clicking here and then clicking on the channel, I just can click right here and it pulls me back into Friendly Fire so that I can easily check the, the text-based conversation that's going on where people are sharing links, memes, YouTube channels, all that fun stuff, okay? So that is, that's handy. So the other feature of this that makes it a lot like TeamSpeak is you have whispering and you have broadcasting. And I'm not going to pretend like I know a lot about these, these features because I wasn't big into TeamSpeak. I, I knew that TeamSpeak had these options. I use them every once in a while, but it's been so long since I last used TeamSpeak that I kind of forget what it was, what it was for. I know that broadcasting meant that say we had a bunch of voice channels set up for, for a war in New World, all right? And we had the tactician or the war leader at the top of that chain. And then we have each group split up into their groups of five. And that war commander can then issue a broadcast to everyone at once to be like, okay, I want team one and team two to take the west entrance. I want team three and four to take the east. And then those, those that are broken up into teams one, two, three, and four can have an individual that relays information back to the war commander via like a whisper. All right, so it comes in handy for organizing large scale things like that, large scale PVP, things where you need to communicate quickly and uh, you, you can't have a lot of people shouting over each other, you know? So it streams line that communication in a, a large scale PVP scenario. And that's just pretty nice, I like that. 
I'm not gonna lie. So as you can see, this does have like a text-based communication system here. Uh, again, I don't really see us utilizing this outside of using it when we're in the voice comms. You can see that people have mistakenly hopped in here and been like, hey, hello, because they thought that this was like the general chat. That's not what it is. So it is a voice comms channel. It is meant for being used during voice comms, okay? And no shade casted on anybody. Like I know this is all new and a little confusing for people, but that's what this video is here for. Here we have Bonfire Chat. Bonfire Chats is a lot like Friendly Fire, but you see it has these, these fire emojis. This indicates that it is for full fire members. This is for hanging out and chatting for full fire members, all right up here. Little, little reminder, but anything, typically anything with the fire emoji, it is strictly just for fire members. So again, in here, this is the voice lobby. We have our guild meetings and prayers, the coffee bar, social games, other. So you can come in here and kind of just hang out whenever you want. Um, you know, even if you're playing a, a targeted game, like if you're playing Guild Wars 2 and you just want to hang out in here while you're playing Guild Wars 2, you can do that. If you're playing New World and you want to hang out in here while you're playing New World, you can do that. That's, that's an option. That's entirely up to you. <laughs> like, that's fine. All right. So stream team right here. Uh, as you can see, 70 unread messages. Uh, oh, gosh. Um. I'm gonna grab that and just go down. All right, so stream team, this is in beta right now. This is the streaming service of Gilded. It, uh, again, <laughs> it is in beta. And if you are wanting to stream your screen or a game, you are able to do so. Just keep in mind that in this streaming, th just keep in mind that this does not allow for in-game audio. All right, so that's one of the big like drawbacks with it. However, they have made a lot of progress lately and the streaming service has gotten better. It isn't nearly as clunky as it used to be. That isn't to say that it isn't without its problems or that it doesn't degrade in quality from time to time, but it has gotten a lot better. So when you're the first one on the stream team screen, when nobody else is in here, this is the options that you see. You can join voice, you can turn on camera, you can share your screen. This is if you're not in any other voice comm channel, okay? It's gonna let you hop over here real easy. Otherwise, um, if this is not popped up, you can click join voice over here in the upper right hand corner. Joining the voice, is going to show you that there are four people watching, looking at this. They're aware that I am now in here and they uh, are, they can watch, but they can't hear me talking. Okay. So they can see everything that I'm doing if I am streaming, which is nice so that they can be in a different channel talking, but they can see what you're doing. And uh, you can share your screen, turn on your camera, which is your web camera. You can mute, deafen. You have your grid view, your focus view, which if there was more people in here, that would keep one screen big and the other one smaller. This one makes everything the same. Up here, we have a pop out, which will pop this out so that you can hip hop around. We have theater mo mode, theater mode, which hides the channels over there. Do that. And, uh, you can see it like it messes with the chat a little bit when you're moving around and readjusting things. Again, it's in beta. Just just give it time. They are making improvements. We have full screen and then you have your voice and video settings, which will take you right into your settings to adjust everything. All right. So perfect. So talking, watching, talking, being creepers. <laughs> All right, leave voice. All right, so that does it for like voice communications in the server home. Here we have fire info. This, this is just gonna be information concerning the core community. Again, core community just means every fire member, regardless of what game group they're a part of. We have readme, which is again, just a general overview of our rules and uh, different information concerning like leadership and ranks and permission. We also have the community announcements, which I briefly went over this during the first video, first half of this video. Community events, this is like our prayer meetings, guild meetings, everything will be listed in here. So that centers around the, the community as a whole, okay? And again, this is in month view and upcoming view. 
And when you set up your account, you're able to go into settings and change like your time zone, which will automatically update these, these times to your time zone. Okay, so that's what these are up here. So we have local time zone and server time zone that you're able to switch between, but because server and my local are the same, <laughs> you're not gonna see a difference. Gilded tip videos. Okay, so this is a different icon than what you're used to seeing. So we had announcement, announcement, calendar. Now we're going to a media channel. And when you click on that, you kind of see like, oh, media channel. No, if that makes sense, because it's all media. <laughs> So here you're going to find uh, gilded tip videos, um, some screenshots. I tried to share as much information as possible. Some of my videos are in here that I've been working on or that I've posted already. And then we have these uh, videos that have been shared or created by the official gilded YouTube channel. And those ones are really quick and to the point. So I really do like those. Um, so, so do give those a look and see if any of those will help you out and learning how to navigate Gilded on top of like what I'm doing for you. And then let's keep moving on down. All right, so then we have the Fireside. Fireside has the Welcome Center, which is where everybody that comes in, there's a little welcome message. You know, as members, I strongly encourage you to hop in here and welcome new people into the server. Just like say, hey, get to know them. That's fantastic. That's definitely what we want. We want people to have, uh, you know, that outreach there. And then we have Fireside Chat, which this is a lot like the Friendly Fire up here. This is open to everyone who joins our Gilded. So it's open to allies, to Friends of Fire, and everything in between. All right. So, and right up here, it will say random topics, derailing of conversations and shenanigans can be found here. Everyone has access to this section. So it just kind of serves as a reminder. Down here, we have bonfire, which kind of matches this bonfire chats up here. Bonfire again has the fire emoji, which indicates that it is strictly for fire members. Again, these permissions can be changed, altered, and uh, adjusted as needed. So if we ever need to open this up to more than just fire members, we can definitely do that. Here we have prayer and praise, which again is prayer requests. Um, we also, you know, encourage people to share praises that they have. We definitely want to, to encourage that. We have introductions where people can come in, introduce themselves, and, you know, get to know one another. And it's been fairly active. It's been really nice seeing this and getting to know people a little bit better than, you know, just like, hey, hi, hello, welcome to the, the server. So that's been really great. We have Crackling Chatter, which is a lot like Fireside Chat, except this is strictly for Fire members. Then we have the Community Forum. So up until now, we've just been doing, like, the typical hashtag threads, the threads that we're accustomed to via Discord. Uh, but now we're at this new icon and that means we're in a forum. So up here it says community forum for when you want to discuss something in depth, but don't want to clog up chat with it. Okay, so when you're wanting something to stay on topic and you don't want somebody like derailing it or a bunch of other chatter getting in, in, in the middle of each response that pertains to that topic. This is where the forum comes in. So like we have Steam friends, give me them digits. Okay, well you click here and this is shooting me down to the latest new messages that I haven't read, which is nice, but let's go back up here. All right, so Steam friends, give me them digits. Let's get digital, digital. So once you get to reading this, you'll see that it's about sharing your Steam friend codes if you so desire and so that you can have more people to play different games with, which is really nice. And on here, you know, like here's my friend code, which will be blurred out in this video because if it goes public, <laughs> I don't want too many friends. <laughs> And as you scroll down, you'll see that there's a little tutorial on how to find your friend code. This, so this is pretty handy. Like it's, it's nice that you're able to insert images in between the text and it all remains as a single post. So you're able to have the instruction here and the, the image of what that looks like right here. So there are people who all they need is to see the image and they know exactly what to do. Others need to have an explanation and the image. So this is this is really nice so that people can go ahead and grab that friend code and they can post it down here and they can go ahead and see oh this is how i go ahead and take your friend code ward and add you as a friend 
So really handy. Um, and of course, this is all staying on topic. As you can see, more people are sharing their codes, which are all going to be blurred out because na 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 na. <laughs> And then when you're tired of looking at this thread, you just have to come right here, click out. And once you're ready to create your own thread in this section, you can click here, create a topic. That's gonna have you put in a title, put in the body of your text. You can edit everything to make it look as pretty as you want and click create. And that's how you would go about making your own thread. Okay, so. Moving on down, we have another media channel. This is the community album. This was originally intended to be where people could share like uh, selfies, but it's expanded into so much more. So now you can, you know, just share whatever you want to share with the community here. You know, like if you take an interesting photo of something around your town, post it here. You have pets that you want to share, post them here. Selfies can come in here. Pets, interesting locations. I mean, honestly, whatever you want, it's a community album. Up next, we have the memes and screens, and it, uh, memes and photos that are hilarious are shared here. And as you can see, it's there's quite a few, <laughs> quite a few memes in here. Mm, we've had a lot of fun. I do encourage you to add your images in here, and to do that in any of these medias, in any of the media sections that you want to add media to, all you have to do is click this Add Media button right up here. This this plus button. And that will bring up the interface to let you drag and drop images in here. All right. Now, listen, listen, I don't know if it supports yet uploading multiple images at once from a PC. Iggy says that he got multiple images to load from his mobile device, but I don't, you know, as far as I know on a PC, it's single image at a time. So just keep that in mind, but Yep, so anytime you want to add media to a media section, you have to click this plus button. All right. So this is the AFK report. And up here it says, going away for a while? Let us know and we'll hold your membership until you return. And then there's all this information in here that you can come in and read and kind of just get a general idea of what it's meant for. And then decide from there if that's something that you would want to use later on. All right, so before in our first video, remember how we got the IRL tag and the blacksmith tag? Ha ha ha. That opened up the IRL section. And as you can see, there is a fire emoji, which means this is just for fire members. We have a forum called In Real Life. Clicking here, you see that it says this section is for sharing those in real life moments, victories, achievements, and hobbies joined together in discussions and help encourage one another in offline pursuits. Ah. <sighs> Currently, there is only one thread in this section, but as we gain more members and more activity on here, that will increase. And here you see that this is called Fire Ford, where Christians burn together. Ooh, interesting title. It was created by Star, and it currently has 11 responses. And the last response was by Star 14 hours ago. Clicking on this is going to open that up. Again, this is a thread within a forum right up here. You can write a reply, but I would encourage you to read this first before doing that. So welcome to Fire Forward, where Christians burn together. You can't get hotter than this. And once you read this, you'll come to find out that this is actually um, a thread where people can come and talk about exercises that they're doing, activities that they're doing, um, you know, keep a log of what they've been eating. This is basically like fitness motivation. This is a fitness friendship crew. And we love that Star has started this. And this thread is her brain baby. Like she is able to come in here and she can edit this first post and she can update it with all sorts of information. And, um, and she's able to like respond and encourage people. And, you know, like we were talking before, she's like, you know, I really was thinking maybe it would be nice to have like have a section where it's just the journal responses and a section where it's where it's discussions. And I told her, I'm like, this is completely in your power. You have the ability to create the threads that you need in order to do what it is that you want to do. 
you know, if that is what you're wanting, Star, you can go ahead and create another thread that is Fire Forward Journals and tell people like, hey, when you're wanting to post journal updates, please post it in this thread and you can link it in your first post of Fire Forward and then use this, this thread for all your discussions. Because that is something that she can do now. She doesn't have to come to an officer or the leader and be like, hey, can you make this thread for me so that, you know, I can encourage other people to, to do healthy living. That's the beauty of, of this. Like, she has the option to do that. And it's in her power to do so. And she doesn't have to rely on, in, on anybody else to create those for her and to moderate those for her because she's got it. All right showcase another media section is used to share any sort of images that would pertain to the IRL tag so if you have hobbies crafts um, digital art anything like that you can post it in here and again you post by clicking this add media button in the upper right hand corner and the beautiful thing about this is that you don't have images getting lost in a thread you don't have people posting an image and then somebody posting maybe one comment about it and then another image getting posted and then 20 comments about that one image that came right after yours or people like talking and everything getting mismatched around. No. So what you can do is you share it, you click on it, and right here, you're able to read the title. You can read information about it. The user is able to tag it with whatever tag that they desire and then you can come in you can leave a reaction you can leave comments encouraging them or praising them or you know just talking about the artwork in general have an entire discussion about this image that remains attached to this image it, it doesn't get lost all right and you're able to keep like going through the images using the arrow keys on your keyboard so that you can be like, oh, look at this next one. You can see what it says. You can share your comments about it. And it stays together. It's not getting lost. All right. So that's beautiful because we have so many, so many talented members that all of their stuff just kind of got lost in the thread. We have we have people that do leatherworking, that make knives, that are out there like creating masterpieces and they come in, they share it. And as soon as it's off the discord screen, because there's been so many comments, it's forgotten about. But not the case here, because you're able to keep scrolling through any new item that gets added to this is at the forefront. But you're able to go back and see everything. You're able to scroll down, you're able to scroll through, you're able to see it and see the discussions. And anytime like somebody a year from now comes in and leaves a comment on the best tree, Star is going to get a notification saying, hey, so-and-so commented on the best tree and boom, there it goes again. Conversation taking off on that image that stays with that image that will not get lost from that image. It's beautiful. I love it. I love the organization. All right, so moving on. <laughs> Here's an icon that you haven't seen yet. And this one is a document icon and this section is called writings. So right here, you can see writings, <laughs> writings, fanfics and scholarly, writings, fanfics and scholarly documents created by our amazing members. So this writing section is perfect for someone like say Azarine. For those of you who don't know, Azarine has a complete knack and talent, knack, knack, has a complete knack and talent for writing like she writes some amazing stories and she has some great fanfics as well I can't tell you everything I've been sworn to secrecy but here she'll be able to share some of that that fanfic with you and the nice thing is say like when she creates a document and she's entered in all this information and she has formatted it to be pretty legible and easy to you know navigate through she can come up here she can add a tag Say she adds the name Azarine because she's the author and then she adds another tag for like the, the name of the document because it's going to have multiple chapters. Now, when we get m many people posting documents in here, we can filter them down by the tag that Azarine has put on her writings. So when she adds in, you know, 16 chapters of her latest fanfic, we can click on it. We can click on her tag and we'll see all of those updates and we'll be able to read those and have comments on them like we did the images so that everything stays together. 
It's I like that. I don't know about you, but I like that. That's all right. So that that wraps. That's everything right here for the server home. Over to New World Group because it is going to be the New World Group that is first and foremost on Fire Gaming Gilded. I will go over these sections as well real quick with you because it's going to be a lot of repeats. So you got the members list right here. And again, we've kind of gone over this where the members list on New World is going to have all the game aliases for New World. If you go to uh, the member section on Guild Wars 2, it's going to have their Guild Wars 2 aliases. So it, it updates based on which gaming group you go to. So after members, we have voice comms, which is New World Voice. And again, this is like TeamSpeak. You find your section that you want to go to and you can hop in there. You see that there's this launch day here. You can read all about that right here with those are four. And then it goes down into Midnight of Flame info. If you've noticed by now, it's following the same trend as the server home. So it had voice comms followed by info followed by chats. Okay, same thing here. We have our info, we have announcements, we have important documents, which this right here is Midnight of Flames early goals. So this has all of our goals written down, a lot of information about what, what we're wanting to do. I think it's within the first six months of release. And this was shared on our Discord. I can't tell you where it went, but it was, it was on there. <laughs> but anything as far as important documents go, for Midnight of Flame, it will be shared under the important documents. New World events, right here we have, again, the calendar feature with all of our events coming up. And as you can see, we have Open Beta, Midnight Mixer, all of that. And I have been over this before, so I won't, I won't keep going over that. But I do want to let you know that I try to use a color scheme with the events. So when I click here, you see the orange? That's supposed to be community-wide, like everything. Green is geared towards PvE events. Red is PvP events. Okay, so we will be adding more events as as time goes on. Um, so do keep an eye out for that. Availability. This is where members can post their availability. And then from here, we are able to plan events to try to incorporate as many members as possible. All right. New World Shenanigans, this is a hashtag thread, so it just keeps going and going and going. General Forum. General Forum. This is general discussion surrounding Midnight of Flame and the world of Eternum. And we do have a few uh, threads in here. I do encourage you to start your own topic as well. And again, you do that by clicking here and getting all of that filled in. And then just kind of look through these uh, because, you know, they are important. Uh, this one specifically, the form in Google Sheet, this has a link to a Google form where you can fill out a bunch of information, which will link to a Google Sheet so that you can uh, take a look at all the data that everybody has entered in and you can analyze it to your little heart's content. And you can kind of see like where we have a saturation of people and where we we need more coverage as far as like how many healers do we have versus tanks versus DPS? How many uh, people do we have going out that are fishing versus mining versus harvesting? That kind of information, okay? So you don't have to share your information if you don't want to, but we do have a lot of people in our community that are planners and helpers and they're wanting to plan to help. <laughs> So they want to fill in where where we have those those weaker points, okay? So that's just some handy dandy information there. We have two different media sections. This one's New World Screenshots. Again, if you would like to share a screenshot, you just click this Add Media, the plus sign right up here in the upper right hand corner. New World Memes. These are just funny images concerning New World. And then down below we have Botted Info, which uh, we have Bella Bot. Isabella loves to let us know what the New World Twitter account is up to, all of it, always. So every hour on the hour, she will post everything that happened during that hour. So, you know, and again, it does post everything. I don't know how to do the coding for webhooks very well. So I don't know how to filter out replies like, like what this is doing. So if you know how to do that, hit me up hit me up. Like, let's do it. Let's, let's get that fixed. But, um, if it, 
until then, yeah, it's just going to be, it's going to be all the information. And then we have corrupted bots. This is, uh, well, this section is the habitat of the corrupted. Here is where the corruption bot posts all hot threads of the r slash new world game subreddit. So this is just supposed to be hot threads, which turns out with the, the new world game subreddit, it doesn't take much for it to be a hot thread. But so there you go. So you can kind of see a little bit of what's going on with Reddit. All right. So that's everything for the new world group. Perfect. Okay, so again, like if you have any questions, concerns, you need help with something, absolutely reach out to me. I'm here to help. And uh, until next time, I'm Aresia. <laughs> Bye.